Hello and welcome to the Nitro Project. Uh, this is a brand new project on my channel, another project. Um, but yeah, this is a complete change to my usual electric on-road RC sort of stuff. Um, this is a HPI Bullet ST 3.0. This is a um, Nitro off-road style RC. Um, complete change to what I'm used to. Um, I have no idea about Nitro at all, so I've got to learn quite a lot. Um, yeah, this thing looks wicked. It looks really cool. Um, got some wicked wheels on it. So let's give you a look around the box. Yeah, so you can see Nitro engine just about there. Got dual shocks all the way around. Got an aluminium chassis and various bits. It's all waterproof with 2.4 gigahertz radio system in it. What's around this side? Nothing interesting. That's servos there, they're um, waterproof, I think they're 4.5 kilogram servos, obviously one for steering and one for the throttle, that's the, what the chassis looks like, you'll be seeing it in a minute anyway, but engine exhaust, this is a G3.0 engine, um, doesn't say much about it on the box but I'll let you guys have a look at it when I open it, so here we go. Oh. Suction the background so I've got this from model well actually this was bought for me for my 21st birthday um, so got it from it was from model sports so I've got some model sport stickers there really like um, the model sport website actually it's really cool um, great delivery service and loads and loads of stuff RC related on there not sponsored um, so that's what it looks like when it comes in the box. I've already opened it because obviously it was my birthday present. I can't just leave it <laughs> to open it for the channel. Uh, so I took the cellophane off the body. Um, but yeah, that's what the box looks like inside. So I'll take out this first. So in here, I'm guessing, is the radio and stuff. So bubble wrap. Yes. Love the bubble wrap. Oh, it's no good. Rubbish bubble wrap. So we've got a radio. I think this is a standard HPI radio. Um, it's got uh, dual rate, throttle trim, uh, steering trim. It's got a channel 3 button there. On off switch there. Uh, it's got quite a nice feel to it. Feels quite nice. And it's got four, ba four AA batteries. So a far cry from the eight that we had previously in um, previous years. So that's the radio, and in the bottom we have, what's that box empty, we've got four double A's for, I'm guessing, the radio, and another four for something else, we've got uh, the standard wheel wrench there, and I think that's the air filter in there, so you've got to attach that uh, a bit later on, so yeah, that's what comes in that little box, so remove these, chuck them down there, so this is a HPI bullet. Oh, I'll just get a better shot for you guys. Just there. Just pan the camera down a little bit. Just there. Look at that. So, also in the box, we get instruction book, antenna. There's probably some stickers in there as well. So, I'll definitely be giving that a read because it's a new form of RC for me. So, i um, got to study that. But yeah, this is the HPI Bullet 3.0 Nitro. Looks really, really good. Really um, impressed by the looks of it. It's got really good feel of suspension. Very nice. I'll just take the body off for you. Need some different body clips for it. That's another one. And that's the. Oh, come on. Whenever you're on camera, you can never take the body clips off and ask. There we go. So, really cool looking body there. Really nice design on it. There is a monster truck version, but I preferred this one because of the orange body. Um, so yeah, that's that. So that's the the internals. So all I know about a nitro car really is that that's the engine. It's the fuel fuel cell, fuel tank there. We've got the centre diff just in there. Don't know whether you'll be able to see. That's the centre diff in there. We've got the throttle servo there. We've got the steering servo just in there. And that's where all the electronics are contained. Um, it's all waterproof, which is pretty cool, so I can run this in the snow if we get any this year. Um, but yeah, looks really, really cool. 
really love the look of it. Tires are, feel really nice. They've got really grippy tread. Some nice foams in there. A nice sort of gunmetal grey black style wheels. So look at the front. Got a strong bumper up the front with some imitation lights. Oh, there's the exhaust just there. Um, so yeah, quick look at the bottom. Let's see, aluminium with like um, recessed screws, so they're not grinding on the bottom. Um, but yeah, can't wait to get this running. Really nice feeling suspension, really cool. Dual dual shocks all the way around. Um, it's got adjustable camber settings on the back and adjustable toe in, toe out and camber settings on the front so yeah super excited about this new project I don't know much about nitro cars anyway so I've got to learn a lot um, but I'll obviously be doing a braking in video or a braking the motor um, or the engine shall I say um, so all, all of my learning process I'll try and video as much as I can um, so this is the new project, can't wait to get it running. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this unboxing video. Um, super excited about this, been waiting for it for a long time. I was originally going to get a Traxxas, um, what's it called, Traxxas Slash two-wheel drive Nitro, but they actually stopped doing it, I think, and they only do the four-wheel drive hopped up, like, 400-pound version, which is a bit too expensive for me as a beginner Nitro RCA, so yeah. I got this one instead which looks really cool so yeah hope you enjoy this video um, leave some comments down below if you've already got one of these and you've got any tips or tricks about it and yeah I'll see you on the next RC project goodbye just a little bit of extra unboxing for you I also got um, with this kit I also got a um, it, it came as like a little bundle so I've got some fuel model Technics molecular blended fuel one litre of it so this should be good just for breaking it in um, I think the general breaking rule is you leave it sort of idling for a whole tank of fuel um, just to sort of break in the motor and get it all settled and ready um, but yes highly flammable and toxic definitely yeah this is from Model Sport as well it's their own fuel blend um, so this should be good just for um, breaking it in and I also got a nitro starter pack from Core RC just up there um, so in here you get a glow starter plug thing. Um, so that's obviously to get the engine hot. Well, to get the um, glow plug hot to actually start the engine. Um, it comes with a charger as well. Um, got a couple of screwdrivers just to um, do the tuning on the engine, like the um, carburetor and the fuel and stuff. Got a fuel bottle. Ooh, gotta get it out with a quite a nice blue aluminium nozzle that screws in there and they got what I think is the best bit <laughs> is the um, really nice sort of chrome look um, wheel re wheel wrench thing that you get in all RC kits but the chrome one looks really nice actually like that and you also get a beefy one as well not sure what for but yeah so um, I think this was about £15 not in the bundle, uh, I'm not sure how much the fuel was, but you know, well, if you get the whole kit the RC, the starter pack, and the fuel, it's there it, you saved about £1.71 or something like that. So it's best to get a bundle like this so you get everything you need to start. Um, yeah, first ready to run bit RC on the channel. Um, I hope you enjoy watching all the nitro stuff I've got planned. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you later.